What is up, guys? This is Logan, also known as LRXE on Pokemon Showdown. Holy crap. We're doing live commentary. Why can't we see their names? I don't know why we can't see their names. We're going to fix that. No. No, don't remove the window capture. Yo, uh, C has brought a meta champ. C, uh, continuing to bring, um, um, not, like, viable Pokemon that aren't commonly seen. Um, Metacham is a perfect example of such a Pokemon. Leading Metacham, usually something super aggressive, sometimes Choice Band, but more likely just a Leftovers variant that has four attacks, as Choice Band is so risky, but then again, Super Epic Ampharos is very well known for using aggressive strategies. Um, they're 2-2 two and two right now. On the bottom, you got Cyber Onan, just started their first ADV game last week, went 1-0, and oh, taking over for PK. Um, who is going one and two. Not sure why PK was taken out, but that's okay. Odin on the bottom. C on top. Let's get it. Zapdos lead. Um, Zapdos is feeling pretty fine about this. Could just Thunderbolt. Could stay in. Um, I think that a banded rock slide would kill Zapdos. Um, but I don't really know. I mean, like, I guess Cyber Odin could decide to baton pass here. Could decide to sub to scout to see what happens. Um, really depends on what kind of team Cyber Odin is running here, and uh, Lead Zapdos doesn't really tell you much, except it's probably not some super intense defensive stally team. Um, Cyber Odin is also known for using Mixed Zapdos, a big fan of that Pokemon with Drill Peck Thunderbolt. Um, yeah. So let's see. <clears throat> but yeah, Super Perfect Ampharos, I mean, she's, uh, you know, she's been doing really well, did really well in Kalos Invitational, came in second in that tournament. Um, and has been holding her own in SPL. All right, Cyberon decides the baton pass, sees that Super Epic Ampharos is not focused, so could be more likely to swap into something that is neutral to fighting, perhaps a Metagross, but again, if this is just banded Brick Break and Super Epic Ampharos calls that out, that would be, uh, that would be terrible. That would be terrible, but let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Baton pass, Cyberon is still thinking, I would be thinking, too, you prep for a lot of lead matches like Salamence, Tyranitar, Skarm, Zapdos, Metagross, but lead Metacham is not something that you're going in like, okay, what is my plan versus this? Um, Super Epic Ampharos actually brought a lead Venusaur last week with Venusaur Machamp team. Yep, there you go, it was Rockside, but that doesn't look like banded damage. I am very confident that that is not banded damage. Um... Also, is that a new sign that's the medical? Oh, oh, it's an emoji. I was like, what? What gender is that? Anchor. <laughs> I was so confused, but it's metal gross. All right. Holy crap. That that threw me off. I was like, wow, what? Is that like the new sign for like not having a gender? But anyway, yes. Non-banded, rock slide, surely. Uh, we see no leftovers reveal from Metagross. Almost certainly Choice Band or Lum. Um, I could see Choice Band. Why not? Just switch it in. Punch something. Choice Band Mash will kill Metacham. Super Epic Ampharos not likely to stay in. She's going to want to swap out to something that can take a Meteor Mash. Um, I also don't think that Agility, if this is a Agility Lum Metagross, is necessary here for Cyber Odin. But they also know that they're an accomplished player. They've been around the block for quite a while. <clears throat> So let's see what's up. Super Epic Ampharos is taking their time to think, what am I going to do about this Metagross? It's such an aggressive team for Metacham. You usually will see some sort of quirky, offensive kind of stuff. I mean, like Zapdos is likely. Um, something to handle fast stuff. Or Skarmory when you don't see banned Metacham. Yeah, Metacham doesn't like seeing Skarmory when it's not banded. Um, assuming it's not banded. I mean, also, we didn't... Well, we don't know if it's left or but here comes Met Magneton. I'm not sure if that is banded mash damage. I think it is. Yes, that is banded mash damage. No attack boost. Here comes Thunderbolt. This next mash needs to crit to kill. Doesn't get to crit. And Magneton takes it out. Let's see what Cyber Odin's response is. Super Epic Ampharos. Yep, here comes Zapdos. Is just going to decide to sacrifice it. Doesn't even want to use it as a positional sacrifice. Because in comes Zapdos. Or here comes Snorlax without taking a Thunderbolt, which is pretty big. Snorlax likes facing off against the Zapdos without having taken a Thunderbolt. Um, Magneton's Metagross seems like a pretty solid trade for a team featuring Metacham and Snorlax. Snorlax hates Metagross. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see what happens. I mean, Cyber Odin is surely going to switch out. Um, I mean, yeah, and they might as well Baton Pass as well, I guess, just to, just to, you know, honesty check, I guess, if Super Epic Ampharos ever wants to double here, but I fully expect a Body Slam or a Curse to come out here. 
boom doesn't feel necessary here if Super Epic Ampros has it. Here comes Tyranitar, another normal resist. That is not what you want to see if you're running Snorlax. You do not want to see Metagross plus Tyranitar. That is two Pokemon that can switch into that return very easily. It is leftovers. Here comes the slide from Tyranitar. Could be seeing like a four attacks Tyranitar. Doesn't really scream some sort of mixed pursuit set yet. Here comes their own Snorlax into the Suicune. Sand is up, so that damage is going to be sticking. Also, this music is so slow. Should I switch it? Animal Crossing music is so bad. I said it. Here, we're, do we're doing the Mad Scientist theme. Oh my gosh, we have an ad. I'm so sorry. Body Slam. Metagross comes in. All right, we so we got some cool physical offense looking team. Yep, Salamence is coming in. I'm skipping this ad. I'm so sorry. Salamence is coming. In comes Swampert. All right, so some sort of classic physical offense sort of build from Super Black Ampharos. And something more standard from Cyber Odin. Not sure what's in the back. Doesn't look like there needs to be spikes in the back. Surf comes in a huge crit on Snorlax. There goes the Suicune switch in. Um, Snorlax does die to the incoming Surf. Yep. Yeah. Wow. There goes Snorlax. That, I mean, that that could that's huge because that could have just boomed there. And yes, Metagross wouldn't have liked taking that boom, but that still would have been huge. In comes Snorlax. Standard switch in for Zapdos. No paralysis. That damage is going to stick on Snorlax, but, you know, Focus Punch could come out into the Tyranitar. We see it's not focusing. Does it Earthquake instead? Nope. Just decides to keep clicking return. They are playing fast. Metachamp comes in on the crunch. Huge damage. It was a mixed Tyranitar of sorts. Does make more sense with the lax in the back. Focuses. In comes Mets. It's going to take a chunk. Maybe like 30. 41. Holy crap. Is that banned? Maybe that is banned and I'm just like totally off on my calcs. I mean like there's no leftover. No, it is not banned. I knew it wasn't banned. Trust myself. And the flinch into the sand kill. Wow. That is terrible. Best of 180V moment. Super Epic Ampros is in the chat saying, sorry. Yeah, I mean, that just sucks. You always want to play an honest game. You want to play an honest game. But, you know, sometimes Pokemon just does that. But, uh, wow, this game's going fast. The question is, how does Cyber Odin bring this back? I mean, like, Swampert and Zapdos, I'm not sure. Snorlax is fine to just keep clicking return. Doesn't seem to, I mean, hasn't clicked Earthquake once into the Tyranitar coming in. And Slide misses. I mean, come on. Come on. Terrible. What do you, I mean, what do you do about that? What do you do about that? I mean, like, ugh. Just sucks. You hate seeing games like this. I mean, oh my gosh, I'd be malding right now. I'd be malding right now. That just sucks. Because, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I don't know why you do. Super Epic Amp for us typing, I wish this was best of three. Yeah, best of three would be, uh... Best of three would be nice. I agree with her. Swampert comes into the Metagross. I mean, I don't know. Swampert, I guess, matches up okay, but you got a 74 health Suicune. Do you double into Zapdos here? That does seem like a nice, aggressive play to make progress right now. Does Super Epic Ampharos call that out? No, they don't. They actually aggressively don't call that out. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Zapdos switching did make sense there, but then again, I guess also on that turn, if Zapdos came in, yes, it does eat a Mash or a Earthquake, but it wouldn't block the incoming Boom, which Super Epic Ampharos would be very fine to trade Metagross for Zapdos, so I actually understand that now in hindsight. You had to get some more damage on Metagross first, if anything. Um, yeah, here we go. Calm Mind is going up. It is toxic. Surfing Down is going to try to catch this Suicune on a rest turn if they have it. Maybe they do. I could, I mean, it seems seems likely. Protect on a Surf. Maybe not. Ice Beam Roar? Ice Beam something? You got to swap now, right? You got to call it. No, let's see. Let's see. It's rest. Yeah, right? I mean, like, I don't know. Does this have Roar as the last move? Probably. Protect Surf Toxic Roar. I guess it's Mono Pert. I would assume here comes Lax. No, it isn't. Back into Zapdos. Super Epic Ampharos caused that. Um, yeah, now this is tough. You got a Baton Pass. Goes into Tyranitar. Does Super Epic Ampharos finally click Earthquake? No. Does not click Earthquake. Tyranitar can get something. Needs a Rock Slide flinch. I don't know if Super Epic Ampharos ever goes into Metagross. They do. Do they call it? No, they can't call it. Crit Rock Slide. I mean, like, uh, what do you do? I mean, Odin's doing what he can to stay alive, but Super Epic Ampharos is just pushing the lead. I mean, yeah, I mean, what do you do? I mean, I think there had to be a moment earlier on where you had to make some sort of aggressive play. But yeah, free boom here. Zapdos is at low health. Swampert's at low health. Salamence should just clean up. Doesn't even matter what the men's is at this point. Looks like it's banned. Um, banned would make sense. Never mind. Some sort of mixed girls without mixed men's without leftovers. Unless it's banned Salamence with HP grass, which could be kind of funny. Um, 
No, it is not banned. It is uh, just a mix, mix meds. And uh, Super Epic Ampharos takes that in a quick one. Perfectly 10 minutes, but yeah, that's unfortunate, right? I mean, like, would have been a more interesting game without the hacks, but like, you know, sometimes Pokemon happens like that. I do think SPL should be best of three. Super Epic Ampharos types GG, I guess. Yeah, if you can't feel good about that win, I doubt anyone could feel good about that win, but uh, all right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more coverage.